Hey, lightweights, here's what you can expect from today's episode of Batman the Telltale Series. Tell me it's f***ing Cobblepot. Tell me it's Oswald Cobblepot. Oh, how sweet. Graduation present. Like you know any better way. Oh! We know what's best for Gotham. I am so worried about the decisions I made. I feel like I made so many wrong choices. <laughs> oh boy. And we're back with the no audio. Gotham is still reeling after last week's mayoral debate. With the drugging and subsequent murder of Mayor Hamilton Hill, Harvey Dent was left running unopposed. After a rather lackluster election, Bruce, finally, a friendly face. He's still being held for observation. Meanwhile, when is he going to turn into Two Face? Good to see you. Oh, congratulations, Mayor Dent. How does it feel? Oh, it'd feel better if I were out of here. I'm ready to get back into it. Oh, what have you got there? I, uh, <laughs> I brought you some flowers. <laughs> Oh, I see I'm not the first. Yeah, well, my mother and my secretary. Ugh, every sick boy's dream. <laughs> One woman I thought would visit, or at least call, hasn't. Selena's been a no-show. I thought she'd at least come by to congratulate me, if nothing else. Guess we weren't as close as I thought. Maybe she just saw me being a coward. Yeah, she's probably just busy, hasn't had a chance to come by yet. We'll hear from her. <laughs> Easy for you to be optimistic about women. Pretty sure no one ever loses Bruce Wayne's number. <laughs> I am glad you're here, though. You're not wrong. God, it's been infuriating. <laughs> just sitting here and having nothing but time to think about what happened. I wish I could make myself turn it off completely. Watching footage of the debate over and over. Ping would have just beaten me to death right there in front of everyone. He wanted to. I mean, if Batman hadn't been there, I would be... I was helpless, Bruce. Helpless. I couldn't do anything. Batman was the one who stepped up. I mean, he's the reason I'm sitting here. Yeah, I can... I can still hear him laughing. What they did to Hill, to the moderator... I have to live with that. But you heard them up there. The penguin and that maniac on screen. Oh, this isn't over. It's I need to stay beginning. ahead of them. They're trying to cause discord. That stunt at the debate was just the first step. Batman stopped them from killing you the other night, but they will try again. I won't hide from them, Bruce. The tonight's speech, they'll know where I stand. Of course, the doctors aren't thrilled about me leaving. My therapist is worried the drug might have caused some issues to resurface. Uh, make them unmanageable. She wants me to take it easy, to go slow. Oh, so yeah, it's his whole right? like split personality thing from... Take it easy? How am I supposed to do that? We all have demons, Harvey. Yeah. From the animated show? Isn't that the truth? Honestly, I'm fine. Besides, I know I'm not the only one dealing with the fallout from that debate. I know how much you loved your father, Bruce. I know that debate was hard on you, too. Harvey, don't. You should talk about it. Finding out your dad drugged Esther Cobblepot, Hill admitting to having both of them killed, it's a lot to process. I'm sorry. Just because I keep reliving it doesn't mean you want to. This just proves that I never really knew him. He was just hiding who he really was. I'm sorry. I know you'll pull through this. <sighs> Look, I, uh... I realize what a terrible friend I've been to you. I was so focused on the campaign. I, I thought distancing myself from you was the only option. I'm sorry. Thanks, Harvey. I appreciate that. I'm, I'll make it up to you. I'm not going to stay mad at him, but I'm also not going to make him think that it was okay because it was a shitty thing to that? do. Batman symbol. Coming from near the GCPD? <laughs> That's one way to get the guy's attention. How do we... And look, I, I should get going, Harv. What? Already? 
What else do you have to do? My, my assistant won't be here for another hour. You can, you can stay if you want. It's, uh, it's Alfred. Is he okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. He just needs to talk to me. Yeah, of course. Go ahead. Uh, tell the old man I said hi. We should have played into the whole, like, dad being a butthole thing and, like, the fallout up, from Harvey. that. Thanks, Bruce. And, like, oh, Alfred needs me. He needs help rounding up documents for his, I don't know. I don't know. I really just hope I didn't piss off Selena. I feel like I would have pissed her off if I helped her too, though, because she would have been like, I didn't need your help. And we would have been like, oh, the fuck? Yes, you did. Unit 6 in pursuit of suspects westbound on 15th Street. Is it the children of Arkham? Can you confirm? Negative. They're taking shots at us whenever we get close. Understood. Stay on them. We'll think of something. A little help would be nice. Hang in there, all right? Oh, they knew we'd be there, Jim. We don't have enough officers to deal with this. Look, everyone stretched thin. I'm doing what I can. I have to go. A little help would be nice, but we send Batman to help and he, they're gonna shoot at us. White has a bat on it, Jim. <laughs> you give me a number call, I'll rethink my methods. I'm just glad it got your attention. I didn't have a lot of options. So, here we are. Not a bad idea. I'm impressed. I like it. I have good ones every now and then. I'd rather have you arrested than come to you for help. But the truth is, we're desperate. I'm calling a truce. Just for tonight. And then every night you need me speak. after that. Right. Rene Montoya, one of my officers. The one who tried to shoot me. I know, but hear me out. She's trying to clear her name after those animals manipulated her into killing Falcone. She's supposed to be on leave, but she got a tip on the children of Arkham's chemical stash, went rogue. She's out there alone, and I can't spare anyone to back her up. I told her to wait, but this is personal. The children of Arkham pumped her full of that junk. I'll find her. We'll take down the children of Arkham together. That's what I like to hear. These children of Arkham are everywhere all of a sudden. Where the hell they all come from? I've never sewer. heard of them before. And that debate. You want answers? Ask Oswald Cobblepot. Cobblepot? I'll bring him in for questioning. Gordon, this is Schultz. Over. Gordon here. We got a problem with the mayor, sir. What happened? Is he okay? I don't know. We lost him. He took off and left us behind. Christ, one more crisis I can't deal with right now. We've got to keep both Montoya and He's Dent safe. Boy. Somehow. I'm on it. You there? Always. Launch the drones. I need eyes on the city. Lucius has made some upgrades. I'll let him explain. Who are you talking to? You got a whole team or something? A friend who can help us. That friend got a name? <laughs> All right, patching you through to R&D in Wayne Enterprises. Batman, so listen. The first model was only equipped for visual surveillance, but seeing how you use them at the skyline, I thought you'd need an audio feed as well. Whee! The microphones are incredibly sensitive. They can pick up sounds from up to 500 yards. In some cases, <laughs> you'll even be able to hear through walls, like X-ray hearing. Nice work. Thanks. I'll talk to you soon. Does Lucius know that Bruce's bats? Any idea where they might be? Montoya's car was spotted crossing the bridge to Arkham Island. Could be where the handoff is happening. What about Dent? They're probably headed to his acceptance speech. They just left the hospital and we lost sight of him. Barrels of this stuff to transfer. And not a big window to unload all of that. They said they wanted it done tonight, so it's gotta be done. You wanna argue with them? Be my guest. You just keep an eye out for that cop. Nobody move! This is the police! Get her! Okay. What do you keep looking at? That car's been behind us since the hospital. God, is this guy trying to drive us off the road? Just drive faster. 
What the? Oh, damn it! <sighs> fucking fuckity fuck. <laughs> I don't fucking know. I feel like we have to get those drugs off the street. Headed to the construction site. Send whatever men you can spare after Dent. I don't... I'll round up what officers I can. Gonna have to head out there myself, too. I know this is risky, Batman. Just be careful. Is Montoya the one that was in... That flashback episode of the animated series? We got a major disturbance here. Several armed suspects on the loose. If you don't watch the reactions, you probably don't know what I'm talking about. There's a flashback episode. Is that my plan? Now this is where it'd be nice if we had guns on our car. Over. Drop the gun. Look, I promise I'm not gonna shoot you, okay? I used to think you were a threat, but I was wrong. We both have much bigger problems right now. Is I'm sorry. Is Montoya supposed to be? Me? Those guys had me pinned down. If you hadn't shown up when you did, I... it's okay. It's in the past. I forgive you. Montoya has some cloaking technology. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> I nearly blew it. She's invisible! I could be dead. Or you could be dead. And it'd be on me. Good instincts, but you need to think things through. Be patient. Don't rush. I may not be there to save you next time. Yeah, I owe you big. <laughs> She's freaking hollow, man! I still don't understand how they knew I was coming. Heads up. The cops just sent three black and whites to stop our guys going after Dent. From the chatter, sounds like Gordon's with them. Someone's gotta help Gordon. They know he's coming. Go. I'll see what I can find here. I'm not giving up on this. <laughs> that is the oddest, oddest glitch I've ever encountered. I'm assuming Montoya was supposed to be there again. I don't, who was talking? I don't know. Alfred. Are you all right? Yeah, but they knew I was coming. They seem to be getting info on the GCPD's whereabouts. Not sure how. I need an update on Harvey. Bringing it up now. Deborah, get down! <gasps> Mr. Dent, what did you do to him? I said get back in the car! There's more of them coming! You'd better get down there. On my way. This is so frustrating! I freaking... I'm having so much fun with this game, but these... glitches are just... Taking so much away from it, I think. I mean, not enough to make me not have fun and not want to keep playing all the time, but still, like. Come on now. Did Harvey do that? Self defense, he says. New mayor's pretty tough, turns out. Killed one of those guys attacking him with his bare hands. Dent did that? Guess the fellow's lucky Dent got to him before you did, huh? <gasps> You're wrong about me. I'd have put him in jail. So unless you're making a comment on the justice system, I'm afraid you've been misinformed. You think any of us are buying this recent nice guy routine? We've all heard the stories about you. I've literally done nothing! At least this one died quick. What? We got our asses handed to us. They knew you were coming. How? We've been using a secure channel. 
You saying we got a leak? Oof. Gordon to command. Pisses Anyone me there? off. Turn that off. What? It's been compromised. The children of Arkham are listening in on the GCPD's communications. I'm gonna look into this. I'll let you know what I find. We literally let everybody go. Okay, yes, we've beaten a couple people up, but they were shooting at us and attacking us. You would have done the same thing or worse, might I add. <sighs> Fucking hypocrites. Bruce? The GCPD's been compromised. The children of Arkham were listening the whole time. How? That's what I'm going to find out. Alfred, I'm sending over evidence of some kind of encrypted communication signal. It's coming up on my screen now, but I'm afraid it looks like a bunch of gibberish to me. I need to go to Wayne Tower and look into this. Get me Lucius on the line. Yes, right away. If the public finds out the police aren't able to communicate... <sighs> yeah, that's bad. It'll cause a panic. Just what the children of Arkham want. Mass chaos. That seems to be how the Penguin does business. I have Lucius on the line now. Bruce, are you there? I'm looking at this data Alfred sent me. It's messy. I have to know what the children of Arkham are doing. How fast can you decrypt? That's a tough one. But I should have it cracked soon if you can meet me at Wayne Tower. Already on my way. Okay, so I think that answers my question that Lucius knows Bruce. Bruce's bats. A man unhinged. What was that about? What was that about? Oh, I don't feel good about this. Almost there, Lucius. I'll meet you down in the lab. Some aspects of the children of Arkham surveillance are worrying. Great. Bruce. Chairwoman. I didn't think you'd be here. I was, uh... I used to look to Thomas for guidance in hard Oh, times. she's in on this. Must seem silly. The sketchy stuff, I mean. After everything that's happened. With the money. You know what they say about old habits. To what do I owe the pleasure, Regina? I'm sorry. I just needed to clear my head. Sort things out. In my office? I know it's irregular, but it's nice to have a reminder of the Waynes every once in a while, in all their glory. She's doing shady I've shit with money. I've been called in for an emergency board meeting. I wasn't told about it. You weren't invited, Bruce. You are the topic of discussion for the board. They want to decide what your future at this company will be. Whether to dismiss you or not. I didn't fucking do anything! You to understand, Bruce. This company is bigger than any one individual. We have to keep face. And after this scandal... What my father... I'm not him, Regina. I would never compromise the lives of innocents for my own benefit. I know that, Bruce. But you have to understand that what the public wants to hear isn't always what we want to hear. Oh my the god, I'm city so... is watching to see what our next move is going to be. This game is pissing me off! We need to get down here. Now. I worked with your parents for years, and neither of them gave any indication of foul play. How could you have ever known? Bruce. You're nothing like him, Bruce. We always build up the people closest to us. When they fall, it's a terrible blow to everyone around them. Then go tell that to the board. What do you think I'm trying to do, Bruce? I'm not your enemy. You should remember that. Don't should forget I? who your allies are, Mr. Wayne. Are you my ally? I'll come find you after. Do I know you? I'll be right down, Lucius. Fucking <sighs> okay. A. Okay, that's nifty. Uh, 
I don't know, maybe we should put a lock on the office door, like the, the main office door. Just in case someone tries to come back in when we leave. Guys, I'm literally fuming about this. That is techy techy as I thought it was gonna be. Corner. <laughs> Spying on my conversations again? Hey, I'm looking out for you. There have been whispers that the board was gonna take action against you. If you lose the company, Batman will take a massive hit too. I know the cave is well equipped, but all of this is owned and paid for by the company. The board's in a panic, but this'll die down before it comes to that. I'm glad you're being optimistic about this, but Very I'm not optimistic. so sure. Right now, finding out how the children of Arkham are spying on the police is more important. What have you got? It's Wayne Tech, Bruce. As you know, Wayne Enterprises is a telecommunications giant. If someone were to, say, uh, build a back door into that tech? You're telling me the children of Arkham hacked into the system? So that's the thing. Do you want the good news or the bad news? Always start with the bad news. Uh, you're not gonna like it. Always start with the bad news. Of bad news lately. Might as well just pile more on. Well, you see this back door they're using. I built it. You? Lucius! What are you talking about? When your mission as Batman started, you needed a way to monitor the city. Well, this is how. I piggyback Batman's surveillance onto Wayne Enterprise's signal. If the children of Arkham have access to the same system, does that mean they know my identity? It looks like they've only accessed the GCPD so far. Not a lot of activity otherwise. I'll have Alfred warn Gordon. The GCPD needs to get rid of their Wayne Tech devices. Smart move. That kind of sucks for us, then. Anything way intact, the children mark them are using it to listen in. I've encrypted our access. I can fortify it, but it's going to take longer to force them out of the system. The question remains. How did the children of Arkham find out about the back door in the first place? Because someone in the company is they dirty! They shouldn't have been able to find it. Not unless they knew what they were looking for. We have a mole. There's no way they could have gained access without someone on the inside. Only a handful of people at the highest level could possibly find out about the back door. I'm gonna keep working on this children of Arkham business. See if there's a way to shut down their access entirely. We'd better lock this stuff down, just in case. So, I mean... Okay, first of all, you didn't give us the good news. Second of all, Hill took our stuff, but there's still, like, if he knew that we were Batman, he would have... I don't think he'll, I don't think he'll would have done that. I don't think he was smart enough to do that. If I talk to him, will he give me the good news? So, anything new? This is gonna take some time. <laughs> don't worry. I'll let you know when I find something. Which is like, dude, literally we just stopped talking two seconds ago. You knew, you, you know I'm not done yet. Is there anything here I can do? Probably need to watch the news, I suppose. Newly elected Mayor Harvey Dent gave a rousing speech late last night, refuting claims that the children of Arkham were gaining control in Gotham. Despite his run-in with the masked group on the way to the event, people are still hopeful that Mayor Dent can pull through on his campaign promises. Excuse me. People like the children of Arkham want to tear us apart. They want to burn everything that we've built to the ground. They don't choose to see the good in this city. But I do. Batman does. And we will fight to protect that goodness. Because we are not the children of Arkham's playthings. We are proud citizens of Gotham. And this is our city. 
Next up, we speak to Commissioner Grogan regarding increased security measures city- oh, Tiffany's really taking after you. And Luke, stubborn as always. I think of what Gotham has become, and I think of them. They give me all the reason I need to work with Batman. He's the only one that will truly protect them. Lucius! And he will, Lucius. Always. Looks like another invaluable piece of Lucius Fox technology. Can't stop yawning. I always wonder why you had a table that could hide itself. Guess it's coming in pretty handy now. Trust me. It was much more paranoia than precaution. Probably justified paranoia. A new sticky bomb I developed. The signal is activated on the underside. Attach it wherever you need, then detonate it remotely with your gauntlet. Nice. Boom. Nice. Be careful. <laughs> Those things pack a serious punch. Oh my god, I can't stop yawning. <laughs> Ooh, what's this? Uh, something I'm still working on. Some new armament to assist you in the field. There's only so much you can do on your own. But it's not really ready yet. Maybe we should stop talking to Lucius so that he can focus on the task at hand. Thermal vision? <laughs> You've been busy, haven't you, Lucius? That's pretty cool, actually. Not sure I'll ever get the first one back from Selena. <laughs> Wonder if that's the only thing she stole. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> this looked like I should be able to pull that off. This is what happens when I record at 9 o'clock at night. I can't stop. <sighs> Looks like Regina's headed to my office. I should go. And before you do... Did you crack it? Here. Get that back to the bat computer. It'll install the added security measures. You'll also have all the info I found on the Children of Arkham's activity within the system. Nice. Thanks, Lucius. I've always got your back, Batman. Now get out of here. Regina doesn't like to be kept waiting. <laughs> that elevator is very Star Trek. Hostile takeover. Mr. Wayne. Bruce. Open up. You let yourself in here before. You're not letting yourself in here now? I thought maybe you'd left. Yeah, right. <sighs> well, the board has voted. Already? Uh, have they sent the chairwoman to wield the axe. You're being asked to step down from your position as CEO. Effective immediately. At least until this whole mess gets cleaned up. I don't no understand. Options, I'm afraid. Fuck off. This is just a temporary setback. Well, that's entirely up to you, Bruce. You need to prove to the board that you can be trusted in the seat. What the- Just lie low. Don't cause a scene. It'll turn out. I asked to slow all this down, but... The press release is going out as we speak. There will be a public event in the morning where you will formally announce your resignation. Fuck that! No, I won't! I'm sorry, Bruce. I tried to fight for you. No, you didn't! The board believes this is the only logical course of action. I see where they're coming from. 
Fuck well, off! you should have fought harder. The board would have listened to you. They'd already made up their minds. I did what I could. You have to trust me on that. I don't have to trust shit. Our stock is tanking. The board is losing confidence. Wayne Enterprises needs a new face. They already had a candidate in mind. I thought it was... <clears throat> I was outvoted. Remember, he'd only be interim CEO. Just until this mess gets cleared up. Who the fuck and is who it? would that be? Tell me it's fucking Cobblepot. Tell me it's fuck- Oswald Cobblepot. Bruce, old boy. Good to see you again. What a chilly greeting. As you know, Oswald's parents were, well, victims of your father's actions. This company was built on the land he stole from the Cobblepot family. Oh, well, the board thought having me step in would be a good PR move. What better way to show Gotham that Wayne Enterprises is committed to righting the wrongs of the past? Happy to help any way I can. People aren't much behind the Wayne name now. And considering that your parents stole from mine... I hear you've been keeping yourself pretty busy, Oswald. You sure you can handle this? I mean, wasn't there a revolution that you had to handle? I'm a brilliant multitasker. The board has complete confidence in Mr. Cobblepot. As his resume goes into great detail, his endeavors in England have been quite... His successful. endeavors?! Are you Besides, fucking kidding me?! The company basically runs itself at this point. <gasps> the CEO is mostly a figurehead. Don't make this harder than it has to be. You might want to check your facts, Regina. That resume sounds a little too good to be true. You might want to have more confidence in your own board. I don't fuck His resume <laughs> checks out, and his references were all glowing. You're quite welcome to call them yourself. That won't be necessary. I'm afraid we need you to leave the building immediately. We'll have your personal effects sent to you. Oh, this fucking... Oh. <laughs> this bitch. This fucking bitch. Oh my god, I'm so angry. I'm Bruce. so angry. I could be proud of you, Alfred. Oh, how sweet. Graduation present. Surely we could let him take this along. Oh, Bruce. Clumsy, clumsy. No wonder you're not being trusted with nice things anymore. I'll call someone in to clean that up. It'll only take a minute. Oh, Bruce and I can handle it. No trouble. Right, Bruce. Well then, I'll help you out with that. Mm. Feel free to cut yourself, asshole. It's broken, I'm afraid. Not a good sign, is it? Time to go. Don't touch me, bitch! Yes, I'm so... Bruce. Time to go. <sighs> I have a little redecorating to do. Your taste is a little too discreet for me. I think that maybe I'll add a fish tank. A large one. Something exotic. I know you, Oswald. I know what you really are. I'm no different than you, mate. Just a hard-working citizen. Looking out for Gotham. I doubt that. This way, Bruce. I'll have IT come set you up. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Regina. I cannot accurately express how fucking They're feeling I am right now. They're out of their minds. They can't do this to you. This isn't over yet, Lucius. The entrance. I took care of it. We can't let anyone find out what's down there, Bruce. There are ways they could get in. You know that. Think you can keep an eye on things while I'm gone? I... I don't know. Lucius, I need to know there's someone I can trust on the inside. I'm here for you, Bruce. I've always been here for you, not them. <sighs> if I stay, I'll have to stop working on our side project. That means no new tech, no repairs if you need them. I could keep an eye on things for you. Let you know what they're up to. Feed you what information I can. 
I want him to work for me, but I need no, him here. Lucius, I need I eyes need you inside. To stay here. But you're the only ally I have in this building. It's important. I need you to be my eyes and ears. All right, I can do that. Keep especially Keep close eye on Regina, because she's fucking snake. Let me know if anything comes up. Keep that drive safe. I need to take some yoga breaths. Oh, I'm literally so angry. Wayne will speak on the issue at a press event tomorrow. Fuck you, no, I won't. We'll learn more about his decision to step down. More on that in a moment. I still can't believe it. Which part? I wish life were easier for you, Bruce. It's just one thing after another. That's why I'm glad I have you, Al. I hope we got some money stacked oh, up in reserve. How, how does that work? Do we still make money from the company? <clears throat> uh, uh, Lieutenant Gordon, he said there's nothing to be done about Oswald Cobblepot. All his records are spotless. He needs proof to dig further. Penguin slippery, all right. With the children of Arkham accessing Wayne Tech, I have to figure out what their next move is. I have to shake it off, I have to shake it off, I have to shake it off. I think, I'm sorry, just bear with me because I just need to vent. I think the reason it pisses me off so badly is because he's literally done nothing wrong. They haven't found any evidence that freaking Bruce has done anything. Okay, fine, yes, his dad was a complete dickwad. I am totally on board with that, I get that. But Bruce is not his father. And you can't tell me the stock is still not going to plummet with a different figurehead. It's still fucking Wayne Enterprises. Are you going to change the name? Because that's probably the only way you're going to stop it from freaking... <sighs> Let's read the codex, shall we? Oh my god, they all have updates. I don't know if these are worth it to keep reading. Um... My father built Wayne Enterprises on stolen land, built his fortune on the backs of his enemies, and did so while the authorities in charge turned a blind eye. I began this journey in memory of my parents' deaths, but now everything I knew about him, everything I've done as Batman, it was all just chasing a lie. I never had a reason to doubt Alfred until recently, but he's still the only family I have anymore. He kept secrets from me, but I've kept plenty of secrets to keep the people I care about safe. I can't fault him for trying to do the best for me. Harvey certainly wasn't shown any mercy at the debate, though he deserved it. I know he's putting on a smile for my benefit, making sure I don't worry about him. He confided in me about his personal struggles, and for that, I'm grateful. He's put a lot of trust in me. I'm not planning on letting him down anytime soon. He'll give the tape of my father gaslighting Astor Cobblepot to the children of Arkham. It proves my father's criminal dealings, but for Hill, it was too little too late. While I'm glad to see Hill out of the picture, I would have rather had Batman handle him instead of the Penguin. Murder and justice are never the same thing. Selina has proved herself as one of the most resourceful people I've encountered. She's shown that she can handle herself in a fight. I'm hoping she doesn't hold any grudges toward me for helping Harvey out of the debate. But Harvey was defen defenseless, and Selina was able to hold her own against the children of Arkham. I hope she still sees us as allies and not enemies. I didn't realize how dangerous the Penguin could be until the debate. He shot Mayor Hill without a care in the world, though I should probably expect the unexpected from Oz. There's nothing left of the best friend I once had, and with Cobblepot in the CEO chair of Wayne Enterprises, everything I built is at stake. Jim and I are on rocky ground. I haven't been delicate with the children of Arkham members I've encountered so far. What he doesn't understand is that my methods lead to results, and any tactic that will help take down the children of Arkham is fine in my book. They're acting like we've done so much to them. We have not hurt them all that badly. I mean, sure, some broken bones, but if you guys went in there, you probably would have murdered people. Hello? She's had a rough time, especially after getting roped on stage with the Penguin at the debate. I'm just glad she got out of the theater safely. She's the only reporter that's been defending my family name in the pro Maybe she can find the sketchiness with Cobblepot. She seems pretty wily. So maybe if we reach out to her, she can do a little digging and come up with stuff on Cobblepot. Falcone's gone, killed by a police officer's bullet. However, his fate doesn't make my life any easier. Okay, we already read that one. 
Montoya decided to go up against the children of Arkham herself. I admire her stubbornness, but she needs to stay out of danger. Hopefully Gordon can convince her to stand down from her mission against the children of Arkham. With her safely out of the way, I can handle the rest. I told Lucius to stay at Wayne Enterprises. I know it's not ideal, but it's the only way to keep an eye on Penguin and make sure the children of Arkham don't find the R&D wing. They officially revealed themselves at the debate, but the children of Arkham have still have been lurking around for a while. The heist at City Hall, the stolen chemicals at the docks, Falcone's murder, they all link back to the children of Arkham. Penguin's one of them, but I'm more worried about their mysterious leader. Too much for Batman? A GCPD task force intervened and attempted an an attempted attack on Mayor Harvey Dent after his car was run off the road by members of the Children of Arkham last night. A witness stated that Dent fatally struck one of the Children of Arkham, although the GCPD refused to verify the account. Witnesses placed Batman on the scene, but only after the culprits escaped into the night. The GCPD has declined to comment on any affiliation they might have with a masked vigilante. Batman has suffered justice during his short time here in Gotham, but this recent attack has citizens worried. If Batman is unable to protect the city's leader, can he be expected to protect the public from the actions of the children of Arkham? So if I had helped Harvey and not Montoya, would that article have been different? Batman and Catwoman, friends or foes? As details following the mayoral debate continue to be released, one struck me as particularly odd. Batman was on the scene, but so was the mysterious Catwoman, the thief who broke into City Hall recently. The two were caught fighting atop City Hall after the break-in, and yet at the debate, they appeared to be working together. Are they partners or enemies? Batman has been a beacon of hope to the citizens of Gotham, but this recent development seems to show that the Bat may be more of a hypocrite than we have been led to believe. However, it seems like Batman left his partner for dead when he saved Mayor-elect Harvey Dent from the scene, leaving Catwoman to evade the GCPD and members of the Children of Arkham on her own. Perhaps there's some trouble in paradise between the cat and the bat? Mysterious Compound Found in Gotham Warehouse GCPD's forensics department has released their findings from the warehouse in Gotham's East End, where they found several freight containers ransacked, residue from a massive explosion, and several bodies of assailants, as well as members of the GCPD. Forensic scientists' leading theory is that the chemical found at Warehouse 133 was a similar drug to the one used at the mayoral debate. With the mayoral debates still under investigation, it's still too early to make any connection to the two crime scenes. I almost said comment. A spokesperson for the department stated. The origins of the compound remained unknown, but recent shipping logs from the warehouse in indicate the chemical may have been developed by Ace Chemicals in Gotham City. Frustration and relief over mayoral election. After Harvey Dent was elected to the mayoral seat of Gotham following his now unopposed bid for the position, many citizens of Gotham expressed their support as well as their concerns over the new mayor. And Gothamite cited their relief at Dent's nomination. Imagine if Gotham had stayed under the thumb of Hill. He was a cancer on this city. I'm glad he's gone. Harvey Dent can actually raise our city up to where it belongs. It's not fair, a former Hamilton Hill supporter replied. What kind of city are we if we're willing to elect whoever happens to have a pulse? There wasn't even a second option. We don't know how many people actually voted for Dent. Not that it mattered in the end. Dent's poll numbers were well over 70% following the mayoral debate. Demand for Bruce Wayne's resignation. Oh, here we go. It's about to get me fired up. Following the recent allegations mounted against the late Thomas Wayne concerning his connections to Bob Moss Carmine Falcone, the mayor, the former mayor Hill, <laughs> the former mayor Hill, Citizens of Gotham have begun to ask for Bruce Wayne to resign as the CEO of Wayne Enterprises. While the deeds of Bruce Wayne have always been in support of Gotham and her people, the recent evidence against his father has only raised suspicions against Mr. Wayne and his company as a whole. No statement has been released from Mr. Wayne or his representatives, but unless action is taken against him, the city of Gotham will continue their demands for new blood within Wayne Enterprises. Oh, fuck all of you. <sighs> This is fine. It's all fine. Bring it will all work out. network of all possible electronic traffic related to Wayne Enterprises. If the children of Arkham are in our system, all of this is potentially accessible. All of this? Lucius was very thorough. It means that they could have eyes and ears into almost everything in Gotham. Just like Batman. They had access to the GCBD. We know that. 
The real question is what else they'd be interested in. Filter for possible targets based on known children of Arkham activity. Patients committed to Arkham going back 20 years. A rather extensive list. With my father's signature as the transferring doctor. Security footage. These date back decades. Alfred, the video at the debate. It's real. This we is think how it they found their evidence. Something Hill did gave them access. At least now I know the truth. I guess it's your dad and you want to hold out any hope, but come on now. We knew that wasn't fake. City Hall, record of Gotham mayors. Hill had been in office for so long it's hard to remember a time when he wasn't mayor. Look at this. Theodore Cobblepot. Deceased two weeks before the election. Interesting. Gotham Courthouse. All public records pass through this place. Now look at this. Oswald's public record. None of this is right. His whole criminal history doesn't exist as far as the rest of the world is concerned. This must be what the board saw. Not a blemish in sight. That pisses me off. Um... No, I... Yes, yes, I know it takes time, but... ...statement of the century, considering I've got at least one of my guys in the ER. Yes, just please let me know when it happens. The children of Arkham aren't going to wait on us. I suppose I can understand the truth of that. Harvey has no idea. It's impossible to tell if the children of Arkham have access to this, but if they do, any action he takes against them... They'll see coming. Are you done here, sir? Not yet. I want to listen to the police. I wonder if they've cleared out all the Wayne tech. This is ridiculous, Gordon. Do you know how much all this equipment costs? We don't have the budget to replace it all. It's a risk we've got to take, Commissioner. If the children of Arkham can hack into our systems, we're completely ineffective. And you think going into situations completely blind is any better? Considering the alternative, yes. Sounds like they've got the situation under control. Good. One less problem to deal with. All right. That means we can go warn Harvey. I've seen enough. I have to go warn Harvey. How are we gonna do that? Are we gonna do Keep it as an bats? Eye on this, Alfred, and have Lucius look into it as well. We need to find a way to lock them out. Very good, sir. That is so freaking cool. So cool. How are we going to tell him that his office is bugged without being like, so I'm Batman and I've come to find out <laughs> you've got a bug or two. Oh, Mr. Wayne, welcome. You can go on in. Oh, thank you. I'm back. Yes, that's right. The back time. I'll need a rental in the meantime. Yeah, yeah, just get it done. What? No, 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 no press conference. Just tell them to reschedule. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll talk later. No rest for the wicked. Uh, hey, Harv. Jesus! <laughs> Don't sneak up on people like that! I wasn't expecting you, Bruce. You scared me right out of my skin. Whoa, whoa, what is your problem? You're being a bit erratic. Yeah, I'm sorry, Bruce. I'm just a little shaky. My nerves are totally shot. Is that what uh, I said? Did anyone follow you? D no, what? Uh, good, no, that's, that's good. Never be too careful. My mayoral portrait is scheduled for this morning. <laughs> Guess I don't really feel the part right now. I've been looking forward to this my entire career. Thought I'd win in a landslide. Be loved and supported, but this... 
I don't know, it just all feels different. I feel hated. Like the city's against me. It's like I don't fit. Like I don't deserve it. Trust me, Arv. You were born to do this. You're the only person that can make a difference here. People will come around to you. A part of me thinks you're just lying to make me feel better. Until you turn into two faced at least. The mess that Hill left behind. I'm telling you, it's going to take months to get everything back on track. I can't get the phone to stop ringing. The city's been in an uproar since the. Hold on, Harvey. You're acting weird, Bruce. Is something wrong? Actually. Just tell me. Are we being watched? What is going on? The technology at Wayne Enterprise is compromised. The children of Arkham are using our tech to listen in on Gotham. Oh, I knew it. They're already keeping tabs on the GCPD, and I'm pretty sure you're on their list, too. Bastards! They're like cockroaches. They really are. I've had this feeling for a while that I'm never alone anymore, that I'm always being watched. The children of Arkham, they, they attacked my car. They are after me, Bruce. They want me dead. They tried at the debate, and they will try again. How am I expected to leave when I've got a target on my back? I'm telling you, it's like they're always there, at the back of my mind. I feel like I am trapped in a nightmare and I can't get out. He's spiraling. They don't run this city, Harvey. You do. You have the highest authority in Gotham. You have all the power, not them. I'm not so sure, Bruce. I'm telling you, they've grown too powerful too fast. I don't know if I can do it on my own. You know what I should do? The GCPD is all but useless against these children of Arkham. Batman knows how this city works. He knows you can't be gentle with criminals. You've got to strike fear into their hearts. And maybe break a few bones along the way. Oh boy. But something's holding him back. I mean, just think. Imagine what he could do if we let him off the leash. Um. He won't have the GCPD breathing down his neck anymore. He'll be able to really make the children of Arkham pay. <laughs> Harvey? I know he's a vigilante, but Batman's always respected the law. I don't think he'll change his ways anytime soon. Nah, then he's limiting himself. Batman works outside of the law. He's the only one getting anything Here done in this city. I mean, imagine, just imagine if we had an army of vigilantes just like him. It'll be a new Gotham. A better Gotham. We can use the children of Arkham's methods against them. If they want to play dirty... We'll play dirty. Whoa, 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 Harvey, calm down. You're the mayor of Gotham, not the tyrant. <laughs> like you know any better, Wayne. Oh! We know what's best for Gotham. What's best for Harvey? Who is we? Sorry, sorry, Bruce. I, I did not mean that. I just, uh, I, I guess I lost myself for a moment. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Dent, the photographer's ready for you. Thank you, Deborah. I'll be right out. Please, Bruce, don't tell anyone about this. I was just, you know, thinking out loud, that's all. I didn't mean any of it. It's just the, the stress of the job kind of gets to me. Your secret's safe with me, or I wanted to tell him to call his therapist, but I was a little Thanks, worried Bruce. that... Again, <laughs> again and again. The way he would say it would not be the way I wanted him to say it, so. We stuck clear of that See one. See around, Bruce. Stuck clear of that one? That's not the phrase. <laughs> we have a new phrase, everybody. We stuck clear of it. What'd that say? An interview with the children of Arkham's leader. I wonder how Vicky managed to score that. Maybe we should have been friendly to Vicky. Maybe she could help us out a little bit. Bruce? Uh, have you seen today's copy of the Gazette? It just arrived a moment ago. It seems Miss Vale has been talking to some very interesting people. People the Batman would like to find. Do you think she would be willing to help you? She may be the only lead we have on the children of Arkham's leader. Perhaps she could be persuaded to reveal her source. Unlikely. I stonewalled her at the GCPD after Falcone was shot. I can't afford to waste time with Vicky. Let's offer her a chat with Batman. Good idea, sir. Can you scramble the line? Right away. Vale, 
I saw your story in the Gazette this morning. I want to talk. Who... who is this? You know who. I am vengeance. I think you know exactly who this is. Batman. Investigative journalism suits you. <laughs> I, I like to think oh, so. Oh, she's all hot and bothered! <laughs> I've been meaning to talk to you. What you did at the debate, I'm, I'm not... not sure I would have made it out of there otherwise. I'd say I owe you one. Meet me at sundown. Cobblepot Park. Deal. Can we have her look into Cobblepot, please? Strange place to meet. Wasn't sure you were gonna show. Gotta admit, part of me thought it was a prank call. There are safer options out there. Why here? <laughs> Seemed topical. So, <laughs> Batman, I'll skip the obvious question. The children of Arkham seem to be your latest target. We all know their methods are extreme, but what about their message? Their leader claims that Gotham's elite have been abusing their power, often at the expense of ordinary citizens. For the record, do you think there's any validity to what they're saying? In your opinion. The Fuck. children of Arkham have done horrible things. They're a symptom of a larger problem. The corruption in Gotham. They exist because they see an injustice. Sort of like you, then. Their message is picking up traction. Especially since the interview. I need to know everything they told you. Does no one read anymore? <laughs> It was a lot of posturing and grandiose monologuing, really. We're going to purge the city of corruption sort of thing. Not great from an investigative standpoint, but the public will eat it up. Part of the job, you know? If that's the only reason you called me, you should really just read it yourself. They aren't trying to hide their motivations. Gotham needs to know how dangerous the children of Arkham really are. You are hiding the truth. Huh. My editor says the physical copies are practically sold out. I'd say the truth is getting out there. It just may not be the side you like. But that's why I'm here. To get the other half I'm missing. Where did you meet? How did they contact you? Yeah, okay, I'm gonna stop you right there. I'm not selling out a source. Not even for Batman. The circumstances of that meeting are confidential. Just like this one. I'm sure you wouldn't want me telling everyone how to get a hold of you. You're putting the safety of everyone in Gotham at risk. Well, if you really care about the safety of Gotham, why aren't you looking at Bruce Wayne? I still want to believe he's a good guy too, but with the information that's About surfaced, his father! Everyone's People. angry. Everyone wants him to answer for what his family did. Everyone. Except for you. Why haven't you gone after him yet? No way he just slipped under your radar. But so far, no action from you against him. Bruce Wayne is innocent. He's not responsible for what his father did. Maybe not, but he still benefits from it. All those people suffered so that he could prosper up in that mansion of his. I don't know if you have some connection with him. Maybe there's more to this story than I realize. But you can't ignore the facts. Whether what he facts? intended to or not, his family has been stealing from innocent people for years. So... What are you going to do about it? What is Batman doing to protect them from Bruce Wayne? I fucking hate People everybody in this game. Believe me, I'll make sure Bruce Wayne's debt is repaid. Gotham will be glad to hear it. Thank Fuck you. Fuck you, Vicky Vale. Good luck with fucking... the children of Arkham. I'll be sure your message gets out. <gasps> Please, Miss Vale. Think what you want about Bruce Wayne, but I need to find the children of Arkham before they hurt anyone else. They literally almost fucking You're killed right. her, and she's like, "No, I'm gonna protect right. my sources." God, Bruce Wayne's the real bad guy. But fucking <clears throat> here, this is where we met for the interview. Just please, just don't tell anyone I gave this to you.
Everything's dark, quiet, it's empty. No sign of the children of Arkham. They may not have gone far. They should be there. Not for the moment. Means I have time to see what they've been up to. So just be careful. We don't want any surprises. I'll continue monitoring the drone feeds from here. Thanks. Go and have a look around. There's a body here. Likely the work of the children of Arkham. I'm gonna look around, see what they've been up to. Okay. Gotta let go of my anger and put my investigator hat on. He's been dead for a while from the looks of it. Oh, he's got that thing. One of the children of Arkham. Loyalty doesn't get you much with these people, does it? Seems strange. There's something else. This man's veins. They look like Montoya's veins after she was drugged, only there's so much worse. The same drug from the debate. I feared we hadn't seen the last of it. There's no puncture mark here. No entry point for an injection. So, how did it get in his body? The bullet? He was shot dead center. Twice. Executed. Oh. It outlived his usefulness, I suppose. Never mind. <laughs> They've been referencing the map. Whatever they're building must hinge on it somehow. This depot is pretty centrally located. Mm -mm. Built the bomb. A detonation device. Detonation. <laughs> they must have intended to hook it up to something. The timer is set for 27 minutes and 13 seconds. From now. The numbers aren't moving. Doesn't seem to be counting down yet. This is how they were timing their route. Alfred, what stations are within a 27 minute train ride from this depot? Looking into the transportation database now. Sir, there's just one. Mercy Street Station. It's one of the busiest places in the city. Thousands of people go in and out every hour. Oh, good. These barrels match the shrapnel that I found at the docks. Can they make it airborne? Someone's been practicing chemistry. <laughs> this solvent increases dermal permeability. Looks like they ran out of the absorbing agent. I don't know what any of that means. <laughs> Something spilled here. This is the drug they've been using. Refined. It's the same as the one given to Montoya and Harvey. Okay. Should we link that to this? Looks like they ran out of the chemical they were mixing it with. What are they planning to do with this? I don't know if that's right. This train car has been modified. How do you mean? Clearly the holding tank. It's empty. For now. Oh, yep. Looks like some kind of sprinkler system. Doubtful they're planning to put out fires. The train car is their delivery system. Maximum coverage. Let's do that. To the map. The modified train car is going to be sent to Mercy Street Station. I don't know if that's where it wanted me to link it or not. What is that didgeridoo noise in this music? I love it! What 
exactly are they planning to release? Okay, so that was not... Okay, we're gonna break that. We're gonna break... That. Let's try linking this to this. The drug is being modified here. They're changing it. And then this to the guy. They've altered the drug so that it can be absorbed through the skin. Oh. The drug. The children of Arkham must have found a way to weaponize it. With a drug that can absorb into skin. Dermal permeability. Of Got it. At once. They're loading the modified drug into the tanks on the train cars, dispersing it through the sprinklers. The timers are set to go off just as it rolls in over the crowds. We are prepared to contain something of that scale. Nope. Releasing a drug like that in so populated an area would be devastating. They could infect the entire city if they had enough. Good thing you reduced their supply at the construction site. Well, fuck. Thankfully, there wasn't enough of the chemical to mix with the rest of the stockpile of drugs. There's a train coming. Take cover. Oh. Ooh, take off your mask. If I'd known you were going to make me lug this thing myself, I would have worn more comfortable shoes. Just add it to the list of your mistakes. Must be why you didn't come through on your last assignment. Well, clearly her gunshot recovery is going well. We're down to our last few barrels since Batman screwed up the transfer. You're welcome. I'll we'll have to make do, I guess. Okay, you two, get these mixed, loaded onto the train. This way. Their leader is here, with Catwoman. Catwoman? She's got more of that absorbing agent. She must have a good reason for being there. She plays whatever side meets her needs. Currently, her needs seem to be focused on keeping all nine of her lives. It's true. We're done here, right? Not yet. No, 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 no. There's no part two of this. I got what you wanted. I'm done. You might as well come out, Batman. I know you're here. What? No way. I did not bring him here. I honored our deal. Oh, I know you did. But now, you're a loose end. Surrender. Unless you'd like to see firsthand what a critical dose looks like. She joined poor Esther Cobblepot. <laughs> Death might be preferable. I surrender. Take me instead, and let her go. Now oh, screw this. I'm not that sort of damsel. Okay, see, she would have been pissed at us if we tried to save her. Train's ready! Move out! Decide when this ends. Did I mess that up or what was that supposed to happen? <laughs> what? You have to face the truth sometime, Batman. You can't protect Gotham from itself. They lit the fire. We're just here to stoke the flames. <laughs> Just 
just like the other. Who the hell is this guy? Or girl. We don't really know. Got a voice modifier on. Oh God, I wish the sound effects were on. <laughs> oh God. So short-sighted. Batman! Catch! <laughs> What is that power he's got? Oh, that was cool! That was so cool! <laughs> the random one-off sound effects! It's just... How does that even happen? <laughs> Hang in there. Don't pass out on me. Come on, bats. Should have gone after. Shut up. <laughs> I'm gonna get you somewhere safe. That was so Just less. Stay with me. That was like so anticlimactic without the audio. Stay here, okay? Just don't move. Don't leave. I'm just getting something from the other room. You're gonna be okay, Bruce. Okay, guys, this is literally the worst. I am so sorry, but I have to stop. <laughs> Next video is probably gonna be so short and I really, really, really am sorry, but um, Mr. Light let me know that Baby Light is needing some mama time to get down to bed. Uh, so I've gotta stop because it's late and I I know myself and I won't come back and record. So um, uh, I kind of already gave all of my thoughts about how angry I am at freaking everybody attacking Bruce. Um, thinking about it logically and after having taken a breath, I can understand where people are coming from with not trusting him, but acting like he's a bad guy, all of these people are acting like he's such a bad guy and he's literally done nothing. He's done nothing but be supportive and helpful of Gotham. And yes, his fortune is based off of what his parents did and his, his parents did was shitty. Um, so I can understand people being mad about that, but <sighs> it just pisses me off. Um, Definitely don't trust that chairwoman lady. She's clearly, she's up to no good. I, I don't trust her. It's nothing that she said specifically, but if you look to her face when she was looking at Cobblepot, she's in cahoots somehow. I don't know how, but somehow she's doing something sketchy. Um, besides ousting us from the company. <sighs> this is really stressful. This is really stressful. I'm having a ton of fun and I'm always so excited to play more of this. It's freaking every, I feel like every Telltale game I play, I'm liking more and more and it's just, this is so good. Um, 
I hope you're enjoying the videos. <laughs> Sorry, I have to stop awkwardly. If you are, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell button when you do so that you know when I post the next one. And if you just want some more Batman comment content, feel free to check out my Batman animated series reactions or my Batman Arkham series playlists, which are on the playlist tab. All right, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I hope you have an amazing day.